Hey, we interrupt our message today about evil for something that's evil. Newsflash. Bring to you the SpaceX Dragon. The SpaceX CEO, Elon Musk, named the spacecraft after the 1963 song, Puff the Magic Dragon, by... Peter, Paul, and Mary. Ooh, does that sound familiar, Peter and Mary? That sounds kind of religious to me, doesn't it? Reported as response to critics who considered the spaceflight project impossible. That's from Five Facts About... The, you can read that right there. Puff the Magic Dragon, or just Puff, was a song written by Peter Yarrow of Peter, Paul, Mary, from a poem by Leonard Lipton. It was made popular by Yarrow's group, Peter, Paul, and Mary, in 1962, released in January 1963. Lipton was 19 years old when he wrote the poem, was adapted in the lyrics in 1963, Puff the Magic Dragon, performed by Peter, Paul, and Mary. His inspiration was 1936 Ogden Nash poem, The Tale of Custer the Dragon. Pirates and dragons back then were common interest in stories for boys. Yeah, anything interested in the devil, but we'll get to that. Lepton said, The Puff story was really just like Peter Pan. Lipton has spent years denying the song. Uh, well, we'll come to that in a moment about marijuana. But Peter Pan. The characteristics of Peter Pan bears numerous references to the Greek god, also named Pan. Greek mythology: Pan is known as being a god of wild shepherds. Shepherds and flocks hunting music and nymphs. J.M. Barrow's classic character Peter Pan, for instance, was undoubtedly become the part part of the pop culture. However, Barrow's fictional character is entirely original, original and original. It's in fact based on the mythological Greek god. Pan. With his home in rustic Arcadia, he is also recognized as the god of fields, groves, which are forbidden, wooden glens, and often affirmative with sex. Because of this, Pan is concerned with fertility and the season of spring. Drum roll, please. Oh, we don't have a drum roll, but we do have Easter. Pan is associated with Easter. Sex and spring. And custard, the dragon made from eggs. The word panic, panic, ultimately derives from the god's name, Pan. Pandetic. Pandetic. Comes from Pan, comes from Peter Pan, comes from the story of the dragon, comes from dragon egg. Maybe we got a pandemic of COVID-19 because we're sending the dragon to outer space. We'll keep going. Tale of the Custard, who fought Indians and lost. Uh, no, sorry. The Dragon is a poem for children written by Ogden Nash. It's a picture book of 1936 poem with illustrations by Lynn M. Mushnigger, published in 1995. The poem was described as probably the most famous poem for kids. And when they tried to bring children to Jesus, they tried to forbid the children. And Jesus said, Suffer the little children to come unto me. And Jesus said in another place in the Bible, well, better for you to hang a millstone about your 
neck and be drowned off in the sea than, than to deprive the children, I'm not quoting the scripture verbatim, but deprive the children of Jesus. So when you're bringing children to a dragon, and we will, we will read in Revelation chapter 12 that that dragon is the devil, the old serpent, Satan. When you bring children to the dragon instead of Jesus Christ, my friend, there's something wrong. And there are Christians out there that love <clears throat> the Dragon spo Space Program. Have you not read Revelation 12? In 1959, <coughs> excuse me, inspired by Leonard Lipton to write a poem that evolved. Evolved. That's an interesting word with science and trying to find life on Mars and going to outer space looking for life. The song Puff the Maggot Dragon. Now the synopsis. The poem opens with an introduction of Belinda and her company of pets. Ink the kitten, unclean. Blink the mouse, unclean. Mustard the dog, unclean animals. Because we're going to talk about a Jewish man in a minute. Custard the dragon. Everyone in the house is very fond of bragging, boasting, pride about their bravery, except Custard. Despite his pretty, frightening looks, the dragon cries for a nice, safe cage to get and gets tickled. Ticked. I don't know. His inmates take it for granted that he's a coward and makes him the butt of ridicule. All of a sudden, a pirate breaks into the house with pistols in hand. Panic! 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 Stratton! And everyone flees from the scene. However, the seemingly coward dragon chases the pirate and devours him. Wait till we get to Revelation chapter 12. Though the dragon does not devour the child, he tries to. Thus he proves himself as the bravest of all, and everyone feels obligated to him. Now is the danger over, and everyone goes about blowing his own trumpet, pride, proud, Trumpet? Trumpet? As before, Custard keeps asking for a nice, safe cage. And Custard the dragon, or the dragon, will end up in the lake of fire. Nash, the writer of this nonsense, criticizes religious preaching. So a man that criticizes preaching, such as I'm doing right now, all right, we'll move on. Puff the Magic Dragon, a poem by Leonard Lipton. It's a song written by Peter Yarrow. Peter, Paul, Mary. And when Yarrow found it, he wrote the lyrics to Puff, based on a poem. Yarrow, whose religion is Judaism, has also been heavily involved in social justice. You mean, this comes from a, a, a poem where a dragon eats a pirate. From a Hebrew. Alright, so here's the, here's the puff that becomes the song, Puff the Magic Dragon, which comes from the name of the dragon of Space X, Watch out for words that end in X. Six, six, six. Sex. L, X, X. The lyrics tell the story of an ageless dragon. Ageless dragon? Puff. And his playmate, Jackie Paper. 
A little boy who grows up and loses interest in imaginary adventures of childhood and leaves Puff to be with himself. The story of the song takes place by the sea in the fictional land of Homeland. Revelation 13, 1. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw the beast rise out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horn ten crowns, and upon his head the name of blasphemy. That's the Antichrist, my friend. That's the Antichrist, my friend. Hope you're following along on this. I love this new program we have. As early as the 1964 article in Newsweek, the song contained veiled references to smoking marijuana. In the Newsweek article, the word paper in the name of Puff's human friend, Jack Paper, was said to be reference to rolling papers. And the words by the sea were interpreted as by the sea as cannabis. The word mist stood for smoke. And the land of honey stood for hashish, which is marijuana. And dragon was interpreted as dragon, i.e. inhaling the smoke. Suddenly the name Puff was alleged to be reference to taking a puff on a joint. The common supposition to the claim the common knowledge in a letter by the member of the public to the New York Times, 1984. So we have this in Newsweek, we have this in the New York Times. Something about this song. Now let's look at the devil in the, in the Bible. I know some scholars out there don't believe that this is the devil, and scholars are wrong. Job 41, 19, 21, out of his mouth goes burning lamps. The sparks of fire leap out. Out of his nostrils goes smoke. As a seething pot of cauldron, his breath kindles, kindles cold. And the flame goes out of his mouth. Man, that's, that's smoking right there in the Bible. From the devil. Alright, let's keep going. The authors of the song have repeatedly rejected it. The interp interpretation and strongly dependently denied that is intended for the references of drug use. Both Lipton and Yarrow have stated Pup the Magic Dragon is not about drugs. Well, 1 Thessalonians 5.22 says abstain from all appearance of evil. My friend, the evidence I saw as a person who used to smoke marijuana and who used to be involved in crack Yes, Stiley Hayward. And smoked cigarettes much of his life. And thank God that God gave me the victory over marijuana. And God gave me the victory over tobacco products. And God, I really not got into crack, but got me out of that mess. You're talking to somebody who with tobacco, and I'm not proud. I smoke cigarettes, I smoke pipes, and I smoke cigars. Now, thank God. God has cleaned me up of all those sins. But when I read that about the marijuana thinking, yeah, it sounds like smoking marijuana. Of course we're going to deny it. Because marijuana was not legal back then. It was illegal. You could actually get arrested and go to jail for marijuana. Not today. I wonder what they would say today. Now that marijuana has become legalized. The authors of the song have repeatedly rejected... Oh, I already read that. During the Vietnam War, AC-47, a spooky gunship was nicknamed Dragon, or Dragon Ship, by the Americans because of the armament and firepower. The nickname soon caught on, and American troops began to call the AC-47 Puff the Magic Dragon. A killing machine. The song was inspired naming the murderous Gatling gun armed C-47. Let me bring up here real quick. 
but I don't have it. But let me bring it up. John 8, 44, about the devil. Let me bring that up. This came to mind. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. He bowed not in the truth. You mean children's stories? Because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, fairy tales, he speaketh of his own, for he's a liar and the father of it. You mean these poems, these poets that we, we just talked about? Okay, Elon Musk, hope I'm saying the name right, the founder of the SpaceX, and this dragon spacecraft was named after Puff the Magic Dragon. Musk has been the subject of criticism due to unauthorized and unscientific stances and highly publicized controversies. I'll refrain from the comment. Musk has received criticism for his views on such matters as artificial intelligence and COVID-19 pan, pan, pandemic. You know, when I see pan, panic from, from the God, pan, I see D-E-M-I-C. I almost see demonic. He's known for divorces and affairs and children. Elon Musk is irreligious. His belief system could possibly be described as an atheist, possibly an agnostic, his only faith in science and semantic understanding of the universe and how laws in the universe work and humankind. So I wouldn't even call him an agnostic. So let's look at the Bible on Puff. And you hope you can see here, Psalms 10, verse 5. His ways are, his ways are always grievous. And the judgments are far above, out of his sight. As for all his enemies... He puffeth at them. Psalms 12, 5. For the oppression of the poor, for the sighting of the needy. Now will I arise, saith the Lord. I will set him at safety. From him that puffeth at him. <coughs> oh, forgive me. Pray for me for tomorrow. Pray him. Preach him. The enemy's puffing at the poor. And God said, I'll step in. 1 Corinthians 4, 6. And these saints, brethren, I, I have in figure transferred to myself and to Apollos for your sakes, that ye may learn in us not to think of men above that which is written, that no one of you be puffed up for one against another. 1 Corinthians 4, 18. Now some are puffed up, the dragon, as though I would not come unto you. 1 Corinthians 4, 19. But I will come shortly, and if the Lord will, and will know, not the speech of them that are puffed up, but the power. 1 Corinthians 5, 2. And ye are puffed up, that's not good, and have not rather mourned, that he that has done this deed might be taken away from you. 1 Corinthians 8, 1. Now as touching things offered to idols... The spaceship program is an idol. They give them names. We know that all. We know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puff is up, but charity is it. First Corinthians thirteen four. Charity suffers long, and is kind. Charity envy is not. Charity vaunteth not itself. It is not puffed up. The magic right. Colossians 2.18, let no man beguile you of your reward in voluntary hum humility of worshiping angel. Introducing into those things which we have not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind. I'm trying not to cough. I apologize. Now, Revelation 12.3. I'll read the whole chapter. 
Revelation 12, 3. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon. Mars is red. Having seven heads, ten horns, and seven crowns upon his head. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, that's Israel, that's Israel, which was ready to devour, was her woman ready to be delivered, and to devour her child as soon as it was born, a Jewish child, a Jewish child. Baby. So the Catholics say they literally eat and drink the body and blood of a Jewish male. Of the woman of the children of Israel. Now, I don't know who that child is, but I know it's Israel. The woman had a, a, a pregnancy. And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with the rod of iron. And her child was caught up to God and thrown. I accidentally read. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven a woman clothed with the sun and the moon and under her feet, and upon her crown, upon her head, a crown of 12 stars. Israel. That's Joseph's dream. The screen was out of whack. And being with child, travailing in birth, which is tribu tribulation, and pain to be delivered. That was out of scene. I, I apologize for that. And we'll, verse 5 will pick up. And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up to God in his throne. And the woman fled to the wilderness, tribulation, where she had, pla where she had a place prepared of God. We think so, a preacher. And there she be, there they should feed her a thousand two hundred three score days. And there was war in heaven. Michael, the archangel, and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought against his angels. Here's Michael and the dragon having battle. And prevailed not. Neither was there a place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out. Who's this great dragon? The old serpent, Genesis 3, called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, John 8, 44. He was cast out into the earth. They keep sending the dragon off the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice in heaven. Now has come salvation, strength, and kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser, the dragon, the devil, of our brethren, Christians, are cast down, which has accused them before our God day and night. I'm going to be there to see that as a Christian. Where I'm going to be shouting, Hallelujah. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of the testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. Therefore rejoice ye heavens. I will be rejoicing when Satan gets kicked out of heaven finally. And ye that dwell in them, I'll dwell in heaven. Woe unto the heavens of the earth where they keep sending the space program out. And to the sea. You mean a dragon by the sea? And the same, the beast that I read out of the sea. For the devils come down from me unto you. Excuse me, unto you. Having great wrath. But he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was cast into the earth, he persecuted the woman, Israel, which brought forth the man child. And to the woman was given great, it was given two wings as a great eagle, airplane, that she might fly airplanes into the wilderness, unto a place where she is nourished for a time, one, time, two, and half a time, 
three and a half. From the face of the serpent, the devil. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman. That he might cause her to be carried away in the flood. And the earth helped the woman and opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood that dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, children of Israel, and keep which keep the commandments and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Now it's just quite interesting that we have a dragon space program and in the Bible we have a dragon that's the old serpent and is the devil, it is Satan, and man has come up with a space program called the dragon. And in outer space, Paul in the Bible tells there's powers and principality in high places. Ladies and gentlemen. The Dragon Space Center is not really that good. It takes a source of Satan, the devil. I return you back to your life. May you read your Bible and study your Bible more. And get your head out of the media. Get your head out of the clouds. Go in all the world and preach the gospel. Keep your eyes on Jesus. And glory to God in the highest. Amen.